How's it going y'all? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. It's finally happened. We have avoided our government mandated bloom footage. We were so close. Emily was on table two with me and Johnny is still, uh, I mean by the time this comes out, Ultimate Cup's already over, but he's playing in the Ultimate Cup that happened on the 6th, no, 7th of January. So he's playing the um, the Brigade Dramon stuff that doesn't have all of the Command Dramons. But still, it's Brigade Dramon Swarm. If dropping a cargo for seven so he could then hit into a new Memon, which this time can actually legally play the Satsuki. We now know that uh, he can't do it if it's during the Brigade Dramon play. But if it's a car Cargo Dramon that is just used to pass turn, then it's uh, all kosher. Funny enough, Red Hybrid is a deck that doesn't mind being blocked, but usually when it's only blocked once. There's so many blockers here that make this obnoxious. Gonna swing in with Jamming, as we've only got two uh, things, there's nothing to do. And he's going to take the Satsuki back out, which is the correct play here because uh, it would just get shot. Nice Crimson Blaze from Marcio. And since you've seen the list, you know that is a one and done. It's a very, very greedy list that really tries to maximize just value. And to be fair, it does a really good job of doing that. I'm gonna shoot a cargo, and then there's nothing to worry about floating. Not gonna get any extra damage or anything off of that. But, as you can see, the Cranium on, a blocker that now prevents his blockers from being deleted. Would have been great to see that one turn earlier, but maybe, I don't know, maybe he just wasn't I don't know if maybe he just wasn't uh, expecting to get cleared so clear. I'm not going to take the block there, just going to let the three checks through. One security is all you need. Alright, he's going to block it. He's going to get the draw off of it. Uh, plays a Takuya off the uh, Inherit. Looks like we d don't have the Blitz. Instead, just going to go for a... A Goodymon, which is going to swing, it's going to float into a Flame Dramon. Oh, uh, Flame Mon from hand. Oh, never mind. It's going to play the Flame Mon Raw to pass turn, declining to use the effect. He does have a Digimon on board, so the Satsuki and the Agumon going to print a memory. Going to get to play another Tamer. And he's set up quite nicely. Gonna put three to the top. No jamming on this. It lives. Oh, that's so gross. Check top five, take the Brigade on. Okay. But he's not wide enough here, right? Brigade Dramon for 12. Hits the Cargo Dramon. Cargo Dramon only able to play a single Command Dramon because that Command Dramon costs four. Another optimization from uh, checking the comments. Shout out to all the people, by the way, that are brave enough to uh, drop <laughs> drop little nuggets. Not everyone hits. Like some of the, some of those are just straight up wrong, but I respect anyway. And also, like genuinely, the only way that people learn is from uh, telling us. Like we don't always catch it. Sometimes you guys catch it. Sometimes someone catches it and then it turns out that they're wrong, but they've learned something from it. So it's incredibly useful for people to actually let us know in the comments, like jokes aside. So appreciate all the support and also making sure that our players are all kept in check. We all obviously make mistakes, but better to make them on camera, get them caught, and then not make them in tournament where it can, you know, cost you an actual important game. First attack gets blocked off the Blitz. Uh, Blitz Emperor is going to swing... Uh, unsuspended once again, it goes into an Omni, which then goes, but gets blocked by Brigade Ramon. So once again, he has managed to live, and I don't think Marcio actually has the resources to close things out here. He's just going to load five underneath the Takuya, but he doesn't have the other one uh, to warp. So he's just loading the five for the sake of it, which, fair. It's not like Black is going to have... Um, it's not like it's going to have uh, Merciful Mode or anything like that. But still, pretty funny. Uh, Vardamon D Digivolve here would be trolling. Uh, he's going to swing. Put three to the top. He's going to die. Load. And 
gets to play the Numemon, which then loads a new Sasuke, which gives it rush. He actually snatches game one. Matrix, How's it going, y'all? Uh, I'm not allowed to use uh, toy footage, so here is player ammo. The thing that's been helping support the channel since pretty much the start of Digimon. If you're watching the ads, you want to dodge them next time, consider joining the memberships but for those of you interested in the thing that keeps me going and shooting these digimon videos weekly player ammo Woo. here it is it's actually way less sweet than some of the other competitors which makes it pretty nice for me delicioso but yeah if you want to support me you can get 10 percent off on your order and uh yeah <laughs> See ya. All right, game two is going to be starting up. I actually don't think Marcio did anything really all that wrong in the last game. Like, genuinely. It's just, like, Red Hybrid is one of the few decks that actually doesn't mind getting blocked as often as other decks do. Like, it gets value. But still, just wasn't able to do anything about it. Ooh. The Ukamon is going to come up, which is going to hatch and gain one. Nightmon tech as well. I don't remember seeing the Nightmon there before. <laughs> Johnny asking, if I just left a card conspicuously on board here, would that would that change your opinion? Not that it matters because the Nightmon has blocker anyway, so like Ukamon swinging here like literally wouldn't even get the egg effect. One of the downsides to using it over the Yoko it is functionally the same most more often than not, but that's an instance where he couldn't get a free draw. And then it got cleared without getting the draw as well. So, like, in that instance, it was just strictly worse. Gonna swing. Atomic Inferno is gonna give him back three memory if he does get blocked. Is gonna use the Nightmon to play a Commandramon. And then is gonna block it with the Brigade, which does give him back the three. He doesn't have the cargo underneath it, but I kind of like that Nightmon... <laughs> that Nightmon kind of lets you go even wider on Brigade stuff. Pop the Agumon makes more sense here because the Commandramon is already native blocker, so even if you get rid of the Brigade, it is still blocker anyway. Is going to threaten it. Burns the protection. I mean, I guess there wasn't protection anyway because there's no high Commandramons, but still, like, good clear there from Marcio. Just showing that he definitely, like, has a handle on this matchup and just shows, like, he got the memory off of being blocked. The Atomic Inferno kind of set up a checkmate situation where if he lets it through, then you've just shortened your lethal clock and you no longer, like, obviously we saw Johnny able to turtle quite quickly in the last game and kind of bring it back from the jaws of defeat. But still, letting damage through feels pretty bad anyway. So he kind of forced him into like a catch-22. Gonna see a DCD bomb, but Aldemon is too tall to uh, get blown up. And he pops six costs, which actually would take out the Burning Greymon. So, luckily did choose to go for that full climb. Not only for the clear, but also to play around DCD. Kind of leaves him in Trident Armor Bust kind of territory. Which I'm not sure if he's on. The list that I have right now is out of date and I don't... I mean, like I said, this video comes out after Ultimate Cup, so... Like... I don't know. Johnny's one of the people that I have to like ask for the list on the day. Otherwise, uh, it is not. Uh, we are not getting it. <laughs> okay, Dramon out. One, two, three. And yeah, there's the Diaboromon Ace. Just kind of proving that it is in the list. And speaking actually of Diaboromon, now that he's done with Ultimate Cup, I believe we are still going to be seeing the Commandramon like protection engine, the high Commandramon, Commandramon stuff. But I think Johnny's going to try and give Diaboromon like another proper go of things. Going to hit into a Satsuki, which makes things a little bit more awkward for the next turn. The Memchoke game is going to be slightly harder, obviously. Red Hybrid a deck that Memchoke's pretty well. Attempt to pop. Succeed in pop. And the problem is these Cargo Dramons have been coming down, but they haven't been coming down... They haven't been coming down with uh, protection. Still missing a rookie, it seems, and he's just trying to figure out... Yeah, I think he's trying to figure out what protection he can get away with. There's no blockers here. I guess he could still get aced. He's going to swing to put... Is it three to the top? Yeah, 
three to the top. Cargo Dramon for three, draws into the Brigade, plays the Commandramon, and then draws into a Commandramon as well. And then Brigade is going to pop the five, and once again, the Great Wall of China has just been spontaneously built up. Yeah, Johnny's actually cranking 90s. He's Fortnite building as soon as he gets hit once. Truly an unstoppable force. You come down. Oh, now that I've said that, I wonder if Brigade Drummond or any of like the new. I doubt it. Like Cyber Sleuth has such a fantastic modding scene. I wonder if Brigade Drummond's model has been modded into that game, because uh, then we can <laughs> we can have Brigade Drummond hitting Fortnite dances. <laughs> oh boy. This situation can, just continues to get worse the longer the game goes on. Marcio's gonna, like, he has to figure out something. We're nice and wide with Tamers. And continues to get wider. But the problem is, he is kind of just in danger of slowly being chipped away. Gonna play a Brigade Ramon, which should pop the Flame on. I think he's missed that. Yeah, I think he missed the pop on the Flame Drummon with the Digivolve, but whatever. <laughs> now he has a Brigade Drummon that actually has protection. A Brigade Drummon that plays a Digimon as soon as he attacks. Play a Command Drummon. Oh, it sends the Diaboromon Ace down. And I mean, that could have also represented Diaboromon Ace. Is gonna swing, is gonna block them with the two Command Drummons. Doesn't even have to give up advantage. All right. I think I would have maybe liked to see that first. I mean, I guess you can only pop one. Cargo Drummon is gonna check three. I'm gonna attempt to swing, and he's gonna block it with the Cargo. What does he do here? All right. He's gonna have to shoot the Brigade Ramon that doesn't, uh, even if he shoots it. Uh, he's gonna gain five, so yeah, evolving into the Blitz one. Swing is gonna block it with the newly placed one, gains back five. What, do, what, is, what does he do? I mean, I guess because he had no security, it's like one of those ones, like, we've seen him in the situation before versus Jasmon, where it's like, ah, oh, man, if he just lets it through, then it's worth it, because it stops him from gaining the memory back. But it would have been nice to see, like, uh, Atomic Inferno print, like, seven memory off the mandatory block. But, unfortunately, no Atomic available. A Goonimon. Yeah, because I guess he's never going to hit security, so it's not like he's printing the memory back. Digs one extra on the slide evo, and we are going to attempt to swing for game once again. Big enough that it is going to... Is it going to trade? Yeah, it's going to trade. No Takuya to play out. And we're going to do it again. Heck yeah. Load up five brand new sources. Does this... Okay, he's going to go into one that pops, so it's not going to be enough. Going to at least clear the one that has uh, has the protection. And this is game. In all, <laughs> in all but normal circumstances. Swings for three. Is going to close up, and he's going to go into Regageron. But we are going to swing it to finish it out. No extensive trolling this time, but honestly, really good defensive crackback there from Johnny. Marcio just unfortunately running out of gas on that aggro list. But yeah, fun games as always. If you liked what you saw from this week's finals, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you to all of our members that have been supporting the channel. And thank you to everyone else watching as well.